If you're like a lot of people, you waited in a long line at the supermarket and paid through the nose for your Thanksgiving feast. But John Blackstone reports there may be a smarter way. Attention shoppers. The $600 billion grocery industry in America is in upheaval. With growing competition, falling prices, and technology offering shoppers new ways to find bargains. What's the most you've saved using this? Yeah, so I'd say like 25%. Like Mary Lemmer does comparative shopping using a smartphone app called Basket. I buy strawberries, apples, carrots, avocados. The app shortage. calculates the total cost of her groceries at nearby markets. Sometimes Whole Foods has the lowest price, but not this time. My basket at Safeway would be $42.07. My basket at Whole Foods would be $56.50. So that's how much I could save. Customers of Zacon Fresh save by ordering online, then lining up when the Zacon delivery truck comes to their area. Are you a first time buyer? Bulk orders of chicken cost about half the supermarket price. Just pull on up and get your chicken and the price is a good, a good deal for what you're getting. The six-year-old company sells direct from farmers to online shoppers and now makes parking lot deliveries at 1,200 locations nationwide. 160 pounds. <laughs> Mike Conrad is Zacon's co-founder. It's almost like a concierge service. You know, they don't have to get out of the car. Online grocery sales are expected to rise from $16 billion in 2015 to $42 billion this year. Supermarket News retail editor John Springer. What e-commerce offers is, you know, giving that consumer those two hours they, they spent shopping back every week. It's also giving supermarkets another big competitor, Amazon, which plans to open stores where shoppers can pick up online grocery orders. It's a great time to be a shopper. It's a tough time to be a supermarket. In the supermarket wars, technology is giving shoppers an upper hand. John Blackstone, CBS News, San Francisco.